there's anything you could take away from the Momo Investing app, it's that it's packed with features. In fact, sometimes I feel over packed with features and we tend to overlook some of them which sometimes could be useful and because Momo is serving over 20 million users globally it's inevitable for them to just jam pack every single feature into this tiny little app so that's exactly why I've decided to make this video because I'm going to uncover three just three features for you that could be hidden in plain sight and I'm sure you would be able to benefit from them through this video but just before I begin full disclosure ahead this video is done in collaboration with Momo but rest assured they did not have any input in this video whatsoever so feel free to use my link down below to download the app and get some free rewards but note that for Malaysian users you can still sign up for an account but you would have to wait for them to be fully licensed in Malaysia before you can start trading with it. Okay the first thing I wanted to share with you is something that I will say is very very underrated which is their ETF screener or short for exchange traded fund and long story short an ETF is a simple way for you to invest in a basket of stocks stocks or industry or country etc which could be an easy way for you to diversify your investments. I have previously done a full video describing ETF and sharing with you some tips and tricks to look for a good ETF so do save up this video to be watched later and trust me you will not want to miss out on that video if you are new to the investment world. It will change the way you look at the stock market. Okay coming back to here this button wasn't hidden per se but I think it's a feature that many would just skip past through and miss out a lot of the useful information that you can get in a glance like for example you can split the ETF category to regional equity indices commodity bond and others regional basically means ETFs that are tracking a certain country or continent's economic performance like for example China ETF you would have popular ETF like KWEB or KWEB that tracks the performance of the Chinese tech companies like Tencent, Alibaba, Meituan, Baidu, JD.com etc and you will also see some ETF that has their name starting from Direction or ProShares. Those are usually leveraged ETFs which can give you higher return, for example 2x, 3x or 5x. But obviously, if the potential return is amplified, the potential loss will also be amplified. So usually, I would not recommend beginners to dabble with these leveraged ETFs. It's a bit too risky so you can just sort of ignore most of them for now. And the next category, equity indices, are basically ETFs that track the famous stock market index like the US S&P 500 which tracks 500 of the largest companies in the US or the Nasdaq Composite Index which tracks mostly technology stocks in the US and the ETF clearly comes from a lot of different ticker symbols because they are all provided by different fund managers like some from iShares, SPDR, Vanguard etc but usually for S&P 500 ETFs I would just look at investing in either the VOO, IVV and SPY ETF obviously for their super low expense ratio and historically really really strong returns and here's a pro tip for you whenever you want to study any ETF, you will need to refer to their fact sheet to get the latest picture of their performance, fees, underlying assets, etc. Right? Well, Moo made it super easy for you because you can just go into their individual ticker symbol by searching for them and then tap into fund and click into profile and you will be able to download their documents and the first one, fact sheet, is the main thing you need to read before you invest into any ETF. Very very useful. Anyways, you get the drill. Under commodity, you get to look at the ETS for crude oil, for gold, for silver, etc. Which can be very useful if you want to include commodity as one part of your investment portfolio. Which is actually a very common thing to do for many investors that want to diversify their portfolio holding. And down there, bond ETFs are slightly more complicated and less rewarding. Usually for the purpose of capital preservation as opposed to growth. But because I don't discriminate learning about investment assets, I of course have various dedicated videos on my channel about them so it would be best for you to check them out for a clearer picture. And just before I move on from this ETF screener, if you are like a lot of my Malaysian friends that love Singaporean REITs or just Singaporean ETFs in general, you can also scroll the top bar here to SG which gives you a full glimpse of whatever the Singapore Stock Exchange offers. For example, you can apply for IPO here or invest in their REITs which traditionally has been providing a very steady stream of dividend income over the past couple of decades because the country has limited land so real estate will definitely thrive as long as there's demand from the retail and also from the business side. 
And if you guys are interested in Singaporean reads, do let me know in the comments down below because I do see some requests from Malaysians time to time to cover them. And I might just make a separate video to show you everything you need to know about the Singaporean reads and maybe even a read comparison video, right? All right, the next feature is literally hidden in plain sight, the 24-hour trading feature, which allows you to trade US stocks on a 24-hour basis, five days a week. That is right, gone are the days where you have to wait for the US market to start trading from Mondays to Fridays. And the worst thing is that since Asian countries are always about 12 hours in front of the US, it's always a pain in the butt for those of you and me from Asia. So this solved that problem for us. Of course, nothing is perfect. And even though this trades at the standard brokerage fee with no added hidden fees whatsoever, you will still need to expect that this 24 hour trading feature allows you to trade at off market hours, which means the market is very, very low in terms of liquidity, which also means you could be buying stocks at a slight premium or selling them at a slight loss. And also at the moment, you can only trade a list of selected US stock and ETF only, over 100 to be specific, but it's more than enough for most of the people because you can find most of the big tech companies like Apple, Google, Microsoft, Tesla, Nvidia, Disney, Amazon, etc. And also your favorite ETFs like the S&P 500, NASDAQ, QQQ ETF, etc. You name it, they got it. So do give them a check if you happen to need that feature to get your monthly investments done or whatever, right? It will be very, very handy when you need it. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna share with you is also hidden in plain sight and often fly under our radar, myself included, because we just took it for granted and it is the funds under Momo Cash Plus. Basically, it is like a money market fund vehicle that you can park your extra money in to obtain additional interest rather than just letting it sit around and not do anything with it. And no worries because the beauty of these money market funds is that it does not tie up your buying power. So you can still continue trading stocks as usual and it will automatically eat into this fund if you happen to run low in cash to trade. Very convenient, right? So here we have the US dollar fund by CSOP as well as the Sing dollar fund by Fullerton. But let me break them down so that you know what you're getting yourself into. The CSOP US dollar money market fund is managed by CSOP, an asset management company based in Hong Kong, but they are fully licensed and regulated by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS. And this fund comes with a slight management fee of 0.3% per annum, which is considerably low, but that does not really matter because if you look at the historical performance, they had an annualized return of 1.33% for year 2022 and year to date for 2023 as of the recording of this video, it is up 1.86% and these numbers are net of their 0.3% fee. So that's actually pretty solid from a click of a button on your Momo app and obviously thanks to the rather high interest rates maintained by the US Federal Reserve. And if you just look into their assets under management, this fund actually parks your money into short term US treasuries and also bonds and they all have a maturity of less than one year. So it's relatively low risk or basically low risk of going negative unless the US government defaults on their debt obligation, which is again, highly unlikely to happen. And in case you wonder what the 7D yield or 7D yields of over 4.6% means, well, it just means that in the past 7 days, the fund has an annualized return of over 4.6% after fees. Yes, pretty high, right? And because it kind of corresponds to the short-term US Treasury's return of 4 to 5% now, so now is definitely a good time to earn extra interest for your US dollar cash. But of course, when the US Fed starts cutting rates, then you can definitely expect this yield to go down as well. Realistically, it will not be at this number forever. Now, let's take a look at the second fund here, the Fullerton Sing Dollar Cash Fund, which comes at a lower yield of around 3.7% as of the recording of this video. But lower does not necessarily mean worse off because it could also mean more stability because understandably it's sing dollar and they pack all the money in short term sing dollar deposits with a maturity date of less than one year but to be exact more than 85% of them are in savings with a maturity date of less than a month and that's short and the risk of anything going wrong is relatively lower and before you ask Fullerton Fund Management is a regulated asset management company based in Singapore and historically you can see that you will get anywhere from 0.3% to 1.7% per annum kind of return. And on average, I would say it's a solid 1 plus percent after fees. So it's definitely an investment worth considering if you happen to have excess sing dollar cash lying around in your Momo account doing nothing. Might as well get a little bit of interest out of it, right? So let me show you very, very quickly how to subscribe to the US dollar money market fund. 
which I did myself. So just click into the funds button at the bottom and click into the CSOP money market fund. And then at the bottom, click the subscribe button and you will land on the page asking you how much you want to subscribe. And in my case, I'll be parking 1000 US dollar cash into it and then click subscribe and then confirm again and enter your six digit trading permission password. And there you go, it's completed. Yes, it is that simple. All right, that's all I have for you now. Hopefully the features mentioned in this video will be useful to you and even better further enrich your journey using the momo trading app let me know in the comments down below if you want more video like this or share it with everyone if you think there's another feature that is worth bringing up i'm sure the other users will be eager to learn more about this investing app thank you very much for watching and as usual i will see you in the next one